Let's get to Rick Santelli. He's live at the SIBO. Rick. Hey, Tyler. I have a special guest today. Pimco, managing director of anything short term. Here he is, Jerome Schneider. Jerome, thank you for being here. Let's get right to it. Sure. Listen, many believe that the Federal Reserve was one of those types of agencies that rarely made mistakes, but it seems like 2022 and 2023 are really hurting their record. As deposits left the system and emigrated, we see that there was a vacuum there and it's created an issue. Is the Fed going to raise a quarter point tomorrow like the markets want? And if they do, will it really make a big difference with regard to the nervousness in the banking sector? And honestly, it's probably a coin flip. You probably have a potential for a dovish hike or, or a hawkish pause at this point in time. And the reality is that the Federal Reserve is going to continue to manage the evolving situation between growth, clearly between financial conditions, which they responded to, to the immediate need for financial conditions. And then ultimately, How did they where, respond exactly well, to they, financial conditions tightening up? They, they basically will, in the immediate term, look to safeguard deposits along with the FDIC. And that sort of took a little bit of the, of, of the strain off the system, at least for the near term. Obviously, there's still concerns about how the economy evolves. There's still concerns about the higher interest rates and how it evolves within the economy and the financial ecosystem. And from an investor point of view, we should all be rationalizing that this takes time in this sequencing. Well, it does take time, and that's the whole point. Long and variable lags. And I guess so many traders on this floor have expressed to me the notion that how could the Fed have missed the point that regional banks are holding all these losses at a time where interest rates have been raised in a very quick velocity. Why didn't they anticipate this? It really has put a Minsky moment here, even though the markets have dealt with it. Yeah, the markets have dealt with it, and obviously the Minsky moment has been pushed off, if at all, at this point in time. From the asset liability management point of view, there is, I think for all investors, is a lesson to be learned here. Simply understand that assets have a, have a duration to them, and liabilities have a duration to them. As a cash practitioner, the one thing that we've learned from this issue is that cash management simply isn't a passive situation, a passive process. Whether you're a depositor or an institution. And it's counterintuitive. Exactly. Because now, so, uh, moving um, your money into a short-term instrument is actually causing more volatility and more risk to emanate in the marketplace. Well, well actually, this is the first time in a gener generation, Rick, that we see a situation where reducing your risk profile, moving to the front end of the yield curve, offers you more returns rather than moving out the curve and taking more risk. What about funding now? How is this all going to affect funding? So, Isn't that the key issue This is the here? key issue. And at PIMCO, we are simply watching the funding mechanisms work. They are adapting. We're not seeing stresses in the repo markets. The foreign basis and currency markets are corporates? operational. Corporate security is a hot topic. Quickly, let's talk investment grade and junk. What's the prognosis here? Well, here we are pretty defensive in terms of where we think the corporate spreads are going to be simply because of the economic outlook that we see. We see the recession probabilities brought forward probably later this year at PEMCO. And at the same time, the headwinds that we've encountered over the, past, over the past few days are simply bringing GDP lower by In one, one year, when we come back and discuss the post-mortem on this, <laughs> is tomorrow's quarter point going to be the last in the cycle? Yes or no, in your opinion? It, it, it's, it's probably going to be close to the end. But I think more importantly, and this is the more important Quick. thing, is investors need to recognize that the horizon for the Fed to be on hold with a neutral rate is probably at least a little bit longer than people suspect. So that timing is going to be important. And the counteract financial conditions with the growth outlook is going to be the key to successful investing over the near term. And make sure they keep the regulatory eyes on the ball. Kelly, back to you.